Welcome to the last session of Social Science. Yes, that's it. This is the last video that you see of me in, um, in YouTube at least about this school year, okay? Because next week is the last week of the, of the school year and we are not going to continue with any other lesson, okay? This is the last lesson of this unit of social science, rocks and minerals. Today, we are going to learn about the uses of rocks and minerals, that is how we can use rocks and minerals, okay? And where we can find rocks and minerals around us because rocks and minerals are everywhere. You just have to pay attention, okay? So let's see what your book says about this. And remember, this is the last lesson of social science, which means that with this lesson, we finish the unit and we finish social science, okay? So let's see what your book says. Okay, so we are on page 63 of your book, page 63. So as always, pause the video, go take your book, and I wait for you. Ready? Okay, so uses of minerals and rocks. I read. Many objects you use daily contain rocks and minerals. Let's see which ones. Some minerals like diamonds, diamonds remember that are the hardest minerals according to the Moss scale. Emeralds and turquoise are used in jewelry, jewelry, joyería, jewelry, as precious stones. For example, this one. I don't have diamonds in my house because I'm not rich, but I have aquamarines. Do you remember the aquamarine? That's it. So, there we go. The aquamarine and other, other minerals can be used in jewelry, joyería, as precious stones, okay? We continue. Some metals obtained from minerals, that means that some metals, that we take a mineral and we take the metal from the mineral, like iron, silver, and aluminium, are used in kitchen utensils and other everyday objects. Everyday objects are the objects that you have in your house and you use every day for your normal life. And for kitchen utensils, for example, the cutlery is normally made of iron, okay? So this is made with a metal obtained from a mineral, yes? Kitchen utensils and everyday objects, like the one you see in your book. This paper is made with aluminium and the aluminium is a metal obtained from a mineral, okay? We continue. Some rocks, such as marble, are used to make statues. It is also used to make kitchen countertops. Kitchen countertops are the encimeras of your kitchen, okay? As you see in this photo. As you see in this photo, this is a countertop. So some countertops, not all the countertops, but some countertops are made with marble. And also some uh, statues, for example, this one here is the Pietà by Miguel Angel, by Michelangelo, okay? The Pietà is a very famous statue for, from a very famous painter and sculptor that, is, that was from Italy. He's dead now. He's like, it was like from a long time ago. If you ever go to Italy, you will be able to see some of the things he did with marble. All his statues are made with marble and they are super beautiful. This one is one of them that is called the Pietà. And here I have another very famous one, the David by Michelangelo, okay? This statue is super big. You couldn't imagine. It's not like, it looks small here, but I've seen it in real life. And it's like, three meters tall more or less it's super super big and this is all made by mar marble okay all made of marble yes okay we continue some rocks such as limestone are useful in the building industry it is usually used for concrete and cement 
cement, you know, and concrete is asfalto. The concrete is what is in the road when you go with the car to the beach or to your grandparents' house or to wherever. If you look to the floor, if you look at the road, that what you see on the road is made with limestone, okay? That is another rock, yes? So this lesson is very, very easy because it's only the uses of the rocks and the minerals. So with this, we finish the unit. That's it. We have learned about the minerals. What are the minerals? We have learned what are the rocks. We have learned the three types of rocks that we have. We have learned where we can find each type of rock. We have learned the layers of the earth. We have learned the properties of the minerals. If you remember, color, shape, and hardness. We have learned about Friedrich Moss, who invented the Moss scale of hardness to measure the hardness of the minerals. If you remember in that scale, each mineral can scratch the previous mineral and the next mineral can scratch this mineral. I mean, it can be scratched by the next mineral, yes? And last but not least, we have learned about the uses of minerals and rocks. Remember, if you look around you, you will probably find so many minerals. Some of you actually have minerals and rocks in your houses, like collections of rocks, but even if you don't have collections of rocks, you can find rocks everywhere, like everywhere. Minerals and rocks are completely everywhere in your life, okay? You just have to look carefully, okay? So, this is it. Goodbye, guys. And we will see each other, I don't know when, okay? But have a nice day.